Welcome back guys, today we're going to do a small line for coons. We're going to use dog proofs and then I got one set I'm going to use with an MB450 and I'll show you guys my equipment. Those are the dog proofs. I got these 18 inch stakes off of F&T and, and uh, got a hammer, the MB cat food. I've never used these stakes before so I'm pretty excited about it because I've always used wolf fangs and you just can't be real mobile so if you don't catch anything for a couple days you had to pull the whole stake and they don't want to come out of the ground so we're gonna set some I'll show you guys a couple but then I'll show you all of the ones I've set but I probably won't show you how I make them because it's just simple you throw a dog proof in the ground and then catch coons all right so the first spot we're doing there's a big hole in this tree and I've caught coons here so this is why I'm setting here but we got this roadway there's this fence holes in the ground but they like to travel that fence so I'm gonna put the trap right there and then hopefully we got a coon I've caught a lot of coons down that roadway too but we're gonna set more sets this way towards the soybeans super simple take your stake put it through this swivel push it in the ground as far as you can take your hammer Beat that in the ground. Put your dog proof. Get some of your cat food. Get some in there. Get some outside of it. And then you're set. All right, pulling up to the second set. Our first set's just right down there, but there's this big old tree, and I've caught coons here before. Actually, you usually can hear them inside there sometimes right there in that little hole. So we're just gonna put the trap right here on this little levee, probably right there. And I'll show you guys the make. All right, show you guys how easy this is. My trap's already set. Just take your stake, drive it down as far as you can. Beat it down to where they can still swivel around. I just called a buddy to make sure he says he makes it to where they can swivel around it. Get your trap. It's bent on the bottom a little bit. Cat food. <laughs> got a lot on the outside, so I'll put some of that in there. And that's how you catch coons. Coming up here to our next set. There's a little fence right there. They just cross from wood line to wood line. Just a big opening in front of our soybean field. So we're just gonna put the trap right there and I'll show you the finished product. Here it is, the finished set. Right there between the woods. I got I got four more DPs I'm gonna put out. And then I got the MB450, which is a one and a half. I'm gonna put down in a creek. And I will show you guys that, but I'm not gonna show the rest of the DPs because you guys get the gist. It's just easy, fast, and if you want to catch a lot of coons, that's the way to do it. All right, see you guys at the creek. All right, so for this set, I'm just gonna make a little hole. Pull all that stuff out. Wash your hammer off, get all that, get more stuff out of there. This could catch me too, but you're just gonna get your hole. Get all that mud off. Take your one and a half. These are night lash. These MBs are. Night lash. Get your steak. Drive that in. And you just take your one and a half. You just want to put it right in front of that hole. Just like that. And you take your bait and you put it back there. I don't have my bait with me, so I'm going to have to go get it. I usually just put, there's this, uh, 
mink and coon lure. You just put it on a little stick and put it in the back of the hole. Usually you make your hole bigger, but it'll catch. That's just what it looks like. I'm gonna put a leaf on top of that 450 and it will produce. So I'll show you guys when it does and we almost got our hole line set. We just got done setting all of our traps. We got nine out in 45 minutes. It's a pretty good time. Them dog proofs are fast and effective. So hopefully we catch a bunch of stuff and I'll take you guys with. All right, see you guys later.